Hello, North Middletown students. Today we're going to read a very funny book. It is called Iwana Iguana, and it is about a little boy who is writing letters to his mom to try to convince her to let him have an iguana. And his mom is writing letters back that usually say no. Dear Mom, I know you don't think I should have Mikey Gulligan's baby iguana when he moves, but here's why I should. If I don't take it, he goes to Stinky, and Stinky's dog, Lurch, will eat it. You don't want that to happen, do you? Signed, your sensitive son, Alex. Dear Alex, I'm glad you're so compassionate but I doubt that Stinky's mother will let Lurch get into the iguana's cage. Nice try, though. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, Did you know that iguanas are really quiet and they're cute, too? I think they are much cuter than hamsters. Your adorable son, Alex. Dear Alex, Tarantulas are quiet, too, but I wouldn't want one as a pet. And by the way, that iguana of Mikey's is uglier than Godzilla. I just thought I'd mention it. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, you would never even have to see the iguana. I'll keep his cage in my room on the dresser next to my soccer trophies. And plus, he's so small... I bet you'll never even know he's there. Love and a zillion and one kisses, Alex. Dear Alex, iguanas can grow to be over six feet long. You, won't, you wouldn't have enough space in your whole room, much less on your dresser, with or without your trophies. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, it takes 15 years for an iguana to get that big. Mikey told me, I'll be married by then and probably living in my own house. Love your smart and mature kid, Alex. Dear Alex, how are you going to get a girl to marry you when you own a six foot long reptile? Love your concerned mother. <laughs> Dear Mom, forget the girl. I need a new friend now. This iguana can be the brother that I've always wanted. Love your lonely child, Alex. Dear Alex, you have a brother. Love, Mom. <laughs> Dear Mom, I know I have a brother, but he's just a baby. What fun is that? If I had an iguana, I could teach it tricks and things. Ethan doesn't do tricks. He just burps and poops. Love, grossed out Alex. Dear Alex, how do I know you're ready for a pet? Remember what happened when you took home the class goldfish? There's no fish in there. Uh-oh. Love, Mom. Dear Mom, if I knew the fish was going to jump into the spaghetti sauce, I would never have taken the cover off the jar. Love, your son who has learned his lesson. P.S. Iguanas don't like spaghetti. Dear Alex, let's say I let you have the iguana on a trial basis. What exactly would you do to take care of it? Love, Mom. Oh, she might be thinking about it. Dear Mom, I would feed him every day. He eats lettuce, and I would make sure that he had enough water, and I would clean his cage when it gets messy. 
Love, Responsible Alex. P.S. What's a trial basis? Dear Alex, a trial basis means that Dad and I see how well you take care of him for a week or two before we decide if you can keep him forever. Remember, Stinky and Lurch are waiting. Love, Mom. P.S. If you clean his cage as well as you clean your room, then you're in trouble. Uh-oh. He's letting his room get pretty messy. Dear Mom, I'll really, really, really try to clean my room and the iguana's cage. Also, listen to this. I'll pay for the lettuce with my allowance. I mean, how much can one baby iguana eat anyway? Love, Alex, the financial wizard. He even offered to buy his food. And this time she's just talking to him. Are you sure you want to do this, Alex? Yes, Mom. I wanna an iguana, please. Now she wrote a little note. Dear Alex, look on your dresser. Love, Mom. He's tiptoeing in there, and guess what's on his dresser? The iguana. Yes, thank you, thank you. Have a great day.